Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. In the last episode, we became, well I'd say race car drivers, but we were in a van, I guess. We became van drivers for a day. That being Murray, for some reason entering a race which gave us a key. I never really thought how logical that was, but oh well. But that's me dealt with, along with its weird- OH NO! And now we have no horse too. But that's being dealt with along with its weird uh, <laughs> bugs that happened as a result of using widescreen. Meaning we only have one more key we need to pick up to open up this. Or maybe we don't. Oops. I <laughs> didn't realize that actually. But we're still need, we still do need to head on into this next area before you head on off over there anyways, so I'll just wait a little bit. And we can ha have some fun with another minigame involving Murray. This one called Murray's Big Gamble. How pun-like. This is another weird sort of gameplay that's kind of fun actually, but also annoying. Okay, so what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that blasting station. Sweet. Use the left analog stick to aim, and press the square button to fire. I'll do my best. And the game doesn't tell you, but you actually have to fire to start the game off. Oh, I'm going in <laughs> but here's the thing, the camera controls are, are one, for one, really jerky. <laughs> And it makes it kind of hard to actually hit things. But also, the game kind of discourages you from trying to hit things when you're not supposed to. By, uh, and yes, I just hit that stuff back there on purpose. Otherwise, you can accidentally hit it and, uh, don't worry with it. But the game will have your camera zoom out when you're not actually watching Murray being ambushed. Some really close calls here too. If you accidentally shoot Murray, it's an instant game over. Not game over, but uh, loss of a life. I don't know why you lose lives on this level because there are no checkpoints. But whatever. Ah, come on. So even if you already know where the guys are, it can be kind of hard to actually hit them when you want to. Also, don't shoot that. Those barrels explode and hurt Murray. But at some point, Murray, I don't know how, but Murray can pick up horseshoes. He doesn't have one now. He usually has one by now. I don't know why he doesn't. He can also have, like, pretty horseshoes sometimes if you, uh... You can also have pretty horseshoes sometimes if you lost a lot of lives. No. There you go. Okay, I got those on my first try somehow. But even if Murray does have a horseshoe, if you shoot him, he will die immediately. Which is very annoying, actually. Because if you don't already know what you're doing, like I just did, you will have a pretty solid chance of accidentally shooting Murray in the face. Or, well, yeah, basically. If you accidentally hit him with an explosion, however, he only uh, loses a horseshoe, so it's not too bad. Actually, I think it's Murray has how many horseshoes you do, or something like that. I uh, completed that level with Murray wearing a gold horseshoe last time, and I exited level with a gold horseshoe afterwards, too. So I guess there might be some kind of relationship there. Anyways, man, frame rate. Stop that. We have a switch now we can hit, I guess. What? Oh man, we can get hit the switch! Okay, well this happened while we were gone, I guess. Let's just pretend that was the way things were supposed to happen. Um, so what you're supposed to is you're supposed to unlock this, then hit, flip the switch, and it will let go of the car, which will then just fly backwards and destroy all the wood boards up on here. But I guess that happened while we were gone. Darn game. So now I can just kind of run up through here with no big fanfare. And we have something else to be doing. 
bring down the second area just like we had a second area for the other part. We do have another thing to be unlocking. This time we have seven locks. Of course we'll be collecting more keys for that today. And anything to say? Would you look at that ugly mug? I am! And I find it infinitely fascinating. Huh? My x-ray detection devices reveal that a secret elevator to Mugshot's penthouse is contained within that giant head. So how do we get in? Behind this locked wall, there's a lever that summons the elevator. But you need all seven keys to open it up. I'm on it. Mm-hmm. And then from there... I have a couple of choices actually as to where to go. I think our first choice will be this up here. Just kind of take into account things like length and fun and whatnot. I think I just prefer to go here first. I actually find all the levels here uh, in the silent portion of Mugshot's place. Pretty fun. The first half, not so much, but the second half, I actually really like it. This one's kind of weird, but it's still fun too. It's basically 2D. Which also makes for some weird collecting of uh, clues. Yay! Life. Or not life, but, well, my own life is extended. Anyways, it's not a life replacement, it's a life extension. Sounds like some kind of weird surgery. I'm still entirely sure what the safest way to go at these guys is. I guess you can just wait for them to, uh, to go with the sweep and then hit them on the ground, but up to you. Alright, so this part's kind of weird. You can explore down the bottom if you want to, but you don't have to. And it's actually most beneficial to take the uh, utmost route here. How do I do that? I believe that topmost route is down here. First. Whoa, how did that not see me? But I believe you just go down here and then just jump up. And you can, if you want to, mess around down on the bottom layer, which I'll show off too. But it's best to just kind of run around here and be done. Also, if you feel like. Oh no, I didn't know you could do that! Whoops. If you feel like it, you can up on here and look around too and get a nice view of the whole place because you're mostly playing around here and uh why is your side building it says mugshot on it but you feel like messing around in here you know it's not the most time efficient you can do that and i'll show it off i guess that's what's down here mostly i guess just a lot of stuff to be there's something inside here Aha! Well, that's one thing. I didn't actually come to actually haven't come uh, down here before, so this is a brand new, exciting experience. There's some stuff to be found, not as much as I expected, though. I guess if you need horseshoes, this is the place to be because you have so much gold and an actual horseshoe. Have fun. Just don't land in the water, I guess. Of course, I kind of made things a little bit easier for myself by taking out those guards from behind instead of jumping straight down, but hey, it was fun to just jump straight down. So now, that out of the way. How many clues do I already have? I already have half of them. Some levels in this game just aren't that long. Man. I have a stealth portion. In this case, this fun stealth stuff is actually hiding behind this, or hiding behind things as you go down. Of course, if you want to, you can just jump straight down. 
but you'll find if you, uh, especially if you want to do the Master Thief sprints in this game, that there are lots of things in this game that you can do that you just don't have to. That's a nice looking graffiti right there. You just don't have to do. And you can save a ton of time by not doing them. Like, for example, going all the way up there and just jumping straight down here. In fact, I would like to demonstrate that. Hmm. Not much for the chance to, though. Without wasting a lot of time. Of course, you don't have to worry about thinking things like, uh... What are you doing, slide? You don't have to worry about things like getting clues, either, if you're actually going for speed, either. So... Makes things a little bit easier on you. Like, why just did there, for example? The first time I ran through here, I completely failed to do that. What I did instead was to just jump straight down and I picked up all the clues. This game tends to be consistent consistent of a fun way and a quick way. Which I guess is, is something you can say about pretty much every game. Because you usually take some speed route through a game. It's kind of point of speed runs. Yay, yeah, hey, life! And I guess we're getting lots of money from liquor just kind of sitting around. Whatever. I wonder how we're not confusing these bottles with the other bottles. And of course, oh no, we got to the vault, but we still need two more. Except we actually need one more. Whoops. I guess I should go look for that, shouldn't I? Hmm. Well, it's nothing that a single run-through of the level more wouldn't help with, I guess. Like I said, this- Whoa, what? That hurt me! That is- Uh. Do I actually have to, like, run through level backwards? I want to not- Uh. I don't feel like wasting the health. I can't really go backwards from here, though. Can I actually just jump straight down from here? No. Now I have something to figure out. How oh, puzzly. I don't think I can just jump straight down there. No, why can I not do that? Okay, one moment. I'm gonna have to restart the level, I guess. I'm curious where that thing I missed was, though. I don't think we're gonna have an issue like two episodes ago, where something that I picked up without an issue on my first run through of the game just decided to not be there on my second run through. That'd be kind of awkward to have it happen twice in a row. Ow. Whoa! That was very dramatic, Sly. Tumble in the air, tumble on the ground, and then fall to your death. Such having an eighth life, I guess. And I'm gonna try to speed through, I guess. I, I was just talking about getting through things quickly, so might as well. Try to go through things quickly. While also exploring, though, which is kind of hard to I don't really know how I'm going to be approaching the issue if uh, I have the same problem I did last episode, though. Where well, the actual problem is that the thing I need isn't appearing. I don't know how I would address that. I didn't really address it last time I, I uh, played in any specific manner, just kind of restarted the level. Well, there's actually just a wall here, and I like not being forced to not use speed tactics, but okay. I'll keep an eye out, I guess. It always makes me sound there's, at some point in a level, a single lone clue 
That's so easy to miss. What's weird though is that... I know it's not down here, I didn't even go down here the first time I went through the level. But what kind of weirds me out is that the first time I completed this level, it looks like I had 28 when well, I picked up that last one right before the end. But then I it actually said I had 30 after I picked that one up anyways. Which is why I was so confident when it said I had 28 that I actually had enough to get the last of them. Go away. So go away. Thank you. A peculiar thing to have happen. Oh, there's just another one hanging up there. I wasn't able to actually pick that one up anyways if I... Oh, come on! I hate that one so much. I When I went through this level the first time, I thought to myself, man, I really don't like those few clues right there because you can't go back and get them if you miss them. That's exactly the problem here. Somehow I managed to not actually jump down on the vents at all. I just kind of jumped straight down and picked up all of those in one go. And now that I know where the thing I want to pick up is, I can actually run through here quickly. And that I shall. No worries about gold or anything like that, I'll just run through here as fast as I can. For your viewing and speed, speedy pleasure, I guess. Of course, if this was actually a Master Thief Sprint, sending off an alarm would lose me time, usually, but... The way it works in Master Thief Sprints, I don't know if I'm going to show these off in the uh, LP or not. The way Master Thief Sprints go about this... Oh, well, there's actually just a wall there. Huh, darn it. Can't go down there quickly. But the way Master Thief Sprints deal with uh, setting off alarms is, if you set off an alarm, go down. If you set off an alarm, Oops, time runs out more quickly. Like, three times speed or something absurd like that. So it's very much in your best interest to never set off alarms, or if you do, to uh, turn them off very, very quickly. Anyways, that was what I did the first time I ran through this level. Just jump straight down. Picked them all up without really intending to do that. So I <laughs> I've been saying, the fun way isn't always the efficient way. In this case, it can cost you like 10 minutes of actually trying to pick something up. And do your magic, lock technology. Wait, that's a, that says 6. That was 566 I put in, okay. With these files, I'll be able to help you find all his clues and breakables. Just look for your binocucom to get the information. And a nice, cool power-up. Same thing we got over in the last area. Now we can look around and see what stuff's breakable. We can also see where the clues are. So if you have an issue like we did just here, this episode, we can actually just look around and find whatever we're missing, which makes life a little bit easier. In fact, a lot. Also, the game really doesn't like this camera angle, I don't know why. For one, the camera's already clipping through things like crazy, but also lags like crazy. Anyway, instead of having me done, uh, I'm hesitant to actually do another level. I don't, there's one level I think that's, I would say, is relatively short, but I don't know if I have time for it or not. I don't know if that leaves me with enough to do next episode either. What it? No, that won't leave with enough to do next episode. Alright, so I'm kind of, my hand is kind of forced here. So I'm going to have to see you guys next time in the next episode of Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. 
Sorry about making things a little bit short. It's a matter of actually... I haven't prepared to play through the levels I'm playing through on camera. So if I... I actually only have two more... These two levels right here actually only to have actually played through on camera already too. I'm off camera. So I'm going to have to save those for the next episode so I can actually have some content in the next one. Because then that's when I'm going to have to end off the episode. So I'll be seeing you guys next time in the next episode of Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. I'll see you guys next time when we take on another actually really fun unique level. Which is probably my favorite one so far. For other reasons. Have a hat. Bye guys.